but we're at a conference here in Palm Springs and I'm trying to get my get as much time, quality time with all the different doctors that I can. Um, this time around is Dr. Hillary Smith. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. Thank well, where you. are you based? Sherman Oaks, which is a suburb of Los Angeles. Okay, and you're yeah. a doctor of chiropractic. Yes, I am. And we're going to talk about a subject I've wanted to cover for some time. We certainly have mention of it in our magazine, and right. given that most of our readers are post-secondary educated women with families, I think this is a topic that we need to cover a lot more. So you're going to help me start that, right? Beautiful. Would love to. Okay, we're going to talk about thermography. What yes. is thermography? Thermography, or digital infrared thermal imaging, is a physiological test. It's a very simple test. It uses an infrared camera to detect temperature gradients on the skin, and those things reflect what's happening inside. Okay. Now, I wanted to cover this because there is a lot of talk about people using thermography in place of, or rather than, mammograms. There is a lot of talk about that. So thermography is different than mammography. Thermography is radiation free. There's no compression. It's appropriate for anyone, including women with dense breasts. Now we're going to talk about breast thermography because we also do okay. full bodies. Women with dense breasts where, or that are younger, instances where mammography might not be uh, the right call, effective, or contraindicated. However, mammography, breast MRIs, ultrasounds, manual exams, all of the traditional things that you think about for breast diagnostics are looking at anatomy or what exists or the form. Thermography being a test of physiology or, or cellular activity is looking at the activity. And I prefer to use it as a preventative tool, as a screening for what could become if right. we don't take care of ourselves and make a correction, we want to stay healthy and thermography is a great tool because all those other tools may be good for diagnosing, but you already have to have what you don't want when you find out. Right, so it's my understanding that thermography, especially uh, breast thermography, will identify a potential problem uh, long before uh, mammography will? Because most cancers take many years. Uh, could take five to eight years for the cells to duplicate enough for there to be a mass that's large enough to be seen or felt. But in thermography, we're looking at cell duplication in its very early stages before there's even anything there. Right. So that can be diagnosed. But that's, you know, there's this time frame when you start to go awry and then you have a diagnosis in any disease, right? Blood sugar fluctuations, diabetes. Um, well, one of the things that concerns right. me, I've spoken a lot with Dr. Christine Horner. Yes. Uh, yeah. Through Waking the Warrior Goddess. Yeah. Love her work. Yes. Now, She's actually going to come to Los Angeles and do a presentation for us because we like to celebrate Breast Health Month instead of Breast Cancer Month. Right. And so she's a huge proponent of breast health and thermography. So yeah, right. I love her work. Yeah, I mean, she, she made money. She made a killing off of doing mastectomies. Yeah. She was a plastic surgeon, a, right. a, a woman's plastic surgeon. And she just got fed up with it when she yeah. started to realize and she educated herself. And that's why we always, we encourage you viewers to do the same thing. And her mother had breast cancer. And her mother had breast cancer. Yeah. But she educated herself about the options, about what she can do uh, for herself to help prevent breast cancer. Right. And then she wanted to help educate other people, other women, about uh, how they, they too can change their lives to um, and not have to end up in her operating room. Exactly. She was, she right. was literally trying to get rid of all her patients. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the kind of doctor she I like. She made a shift. She made a shift. Yeah, she, uh, she certainly yeah. did make a shift. Uh, now, um, thermography is also... Uh, I've also read that you really need to know that the person that's doing the test actually knows how to read the results. Well, is there any way to? Um, this is what I would say about that mm -hmm. because thermography has a wide range of practitioners. I choose to use um, my board of medical doctors who are all trained as thermologists. I sure that there are individual practitioners who are very good at reading 
reports. I like being a part of a worldwide organization where everyone that does the reads is a medical doctor. I'm a doctor of chiropractic. Thermography is in my license in California, but in some states it's not, or people are going to bring their reports back to Kaiser to their medical doctors. It's nice to have a, a report by a medical doctor. And then if we need second opinions or, thing, or the doctors overread each other, if somebody's starting to lose their uh, mojo in doing a good job, right. um, we're not out there alone because you really are putting your life in that person's hands. So, but you um, can get your test results, like you said, and take them to other people and get other Right, but so I do the scans and I review the scans with people because I am a licensed healthcare practitioner. I think it's better to go to somebody who is a licensed healthcare practitioner that can discuss things with you. But as far as doing my own reads, I prefer to use um, EMI, which is electronic medical inter, because those doctors have very sophisticated software where they can see temperatures one one hundredth of a degree from pixel to pixel. Right. We're not looking at colors, we're looking at temperature differentials because thermography is looking at change over time. It's not really a one-off okay. the way maybe a mammogram is. It could be, but that's not the best utilization. You gotta connect the dots between here and here. Is that your thermal fingerprint? Is this normal for you? And will you stay at that level? So um, reading your own scans isn't necessarily um, the best way to go. Right. Yeah, Because well, I don't, I, I could learn how to do it, but I like, to give that to somebody who sits there and does it all day and has that software. And I rather work with women, educating them, empowering them, and taking good pictures. Right. Yeah. Okay, terrific. Now, I wanted to f touch on something that you brought up earlier. Okay. I'm, su I'm surprised that I, I didn't realize that, but I've only thought of thermography as in the term breast thermography. Right. But you can use it for a lot of other things. Yes, absolutely. We're doing a lot of full bodies. Now, in fact, within our organization, the ACCT, they've been tracking it for about the last five years or perhaps longer. Um, before there were maybe mostly 90% breasts, 10% full body, and now people are doing almost as many full bodies as a wellness scan. We're doing a lot of scans of the head and neck because this is how people can see if there are old root canals under their own crowns, is there an infection? Is there an inflammation? That is super important mm -hmm. to know. Um, and then we are also looking at where does pain come from? People have pain and they may have had all these tests of anatomy, but they don't know. They've tried everything. They've had an MRI. They've done this. They've done that. But they don't know the source of their pain. When you're looking at inflammation or infection, because it does have a certain pattern, obviously it's hotter. And I, and I don't want people to think that hot spots necessarily mean pathology. That's a little bit of misrepresentation right. of thermography. Um, but people can pinpoint where to have treatments. You know, their arm hurts. Is it their, is it their shoulder? Is it coming up? Is it from their neck? Is it a tight muscle? Is it in the joint? This is really good information right. so that you can get to the source of the problem and choose your right treatment and then have an objective way to monitor it. Okay. Yeah. Um, how much do you have? You must have information on your website. I do. So we've got the link. It just appeared magically below the, the video there. <laughs> wow, that's so great. So we can send people there to find out more information. I'm going to cer certainly going to look into this uh, yeah. because uh, it's a really interesting field, I think, and I want to explore it. So I think I'll get uh, some of my contributors to uh, start working on some R&D. <laughs> that's great. That's great. And um, if anybody that's listening, if they're uh, not in my area, obviously, they can email us. Our email link is on our website, and we'll help them find somebody that we know that we consider qualified in their area. And if they can't find somebody qualified in their area, are they or are they also able to, uh, for example, have a thermography, uh, have the picture done, taken, um, and have it sent to you for a second opinion, where you process it through your people? Well, they need to find somebody that has a medical grade camera that can do their images. Right. So because we are a part of a worldwide organization as far as our interpretations go, uh, you can move around and your pictures aren't lost. Okay. Um, it's, it's a really good system, especially if you travel. Um, well, everybody moves a lot these days. So right. it's good to know that if you were in California and you're going to Oregon, 
you don't have to start all over again. Everything is safe for at least seven years. It's all HIPAA compliant because you want to go back and compare. People have hormonal fluctuations. Right. You're not going to be the same one day that you are the next. On hormones, off of hormones, cycling, perimenopausal. So we want to look at your whole history and look at your stability and help you stay well because prevention is better than early detection. Absolutely. Thanks. All right, Hillary. Okay, thanks, John. Hillary Smith, Dr. Hillary Smith, thank you for spending time with us. And thank you. And educating us on, uh, on thermography. Thanks for spreading the word. If you want to learn more, people, just follow the links below and uh, um, educate yourselves. Thank so uh, thanks for spending time with us thank today. Thank you so much. Uh, safe okay. travels home. Thanks. And we'll see you in your office. We'll come up Great. and we'll, come on. we'll do a follow-up on Beautiful. this, okay? Yeah. I'm John for Total Health Magazine. Uh, we're going back to the studio, actually all the way back to San Diego. Take care. Bye for now. Bye.